You gotta love the garlic strat, guys. It's just so good, okay? It's just so good. Hey guys, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies. I've been playing this game a little bit. I am now at level 4-1, and I have one goal today, to see the legend himself, Zombie Yeti. So apparently, guys, when you do the bonus adventure or adventure part two or whatever you want to call it, when you get to level 4-10, you're guaranteed to see the Zombie Yeti. It's going to take me a little while. Bear with me. We're going to try out some new strategies, and uh, we're going to get to 410, and he's going to be there, and I'm going to be like, Wow, check it out, it's him. Okay, so first of all, guys, gonna read a few comments, as I always do. Tip, Winter Melon actually does more damage than the Melon Pult, so if you have some extra sun, you might want to fill out every Melon Pult into a Winter Melon evidence in the almanac. Okay, well, I don't have the Winter Melon yet, guys. That is the one plant I don't have, I believe. I don't have, like, the 10 slot and uh, a few other things. But look at that. Plant these on your melon pulls to turn them into winter melons. Winter melons do heavy damage and slow groups of zombies. Okay. You just bought the final plant. Oh my God. You're an all plant ever. Buy gum. What does buy gum mean? I've never heard anyone say that. It's probably just some weird thing that Crazy Dave says. Classic Crazy Dave. Let's go to the almanac, shall we guys? Okay, take a look at this. I think there's probably a lot I haven't read, guys, like uh, Umbrella Leaf. I don't even, I haven't even used Umbrella Leaf. Um, soon I will, when we get back to the roof levels. That's when the uh, the bungee zombies come again, right? Protects adjacent plants from bungees and catapults. Okay, Sproing says Umbrella Leaf. Did you like that? I can do it again. Sproing, woo, that's me popping up to protect stuff around me. Yeah, just like that, exactly like that. Believe it. That's a weird description. Melon Pulse, do heavy damage to groups. Heavy damage, lobbed is the range. Uh, melons damage nearby enemies on impact. There's no false modesty with Melon Pult. Sun for damage, I deliver the biggest punch on the lawn. He says, I'm not bragging, run the numbers, you'll see. So what does it say about the uh, Winter Melon? Winter Melon's 200 bucks, whereas the uh, this one is, is 300, but the Winter Melon is an upgrade to the other one. So very heavy damage, which is obviously more, so boom. But it's got half the firing speed. But it freezes. So I, it's a, a toss-up, right? I don't know, I don't know what, what's better. Winter Melon tries to calm his nerves. He hears the zombies approach. Will he make it? <laughs> Will anyone make it? Okay, let's not read any more of these guys. I, I tell you what I want to read. This one right here. Huh? Who is this? I don't know. Haven't encountered them. Tip, the spike rocks synergize really well with any sort of ice plant because they walk on them for longer. So that's something I'm gonna do today, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that in mind because if we get winter melons and, uh, and we have a whole bunch of spike rocks, we can just, you know, slow them down and then do lots of damage. Okay, let's go to the Zen garden because check it out guys, I got a few new plants here, wow. I've got the uh, the tangleweed, I think it's called, but I can't do anything with it. He's like, I don't want water, I'm a water plant. What the heck, are you stupid or something? Now this guy is fully grown. I I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to be selling plants or not, because some people don't like it when I do. Listen to this. My heart when Matt sells all his other plants, even though he could have sold all his marigolds with the golden glow, because they can't grow anymore. Three crying emojis. So you're saying I should sell my marigolds? Is that what you're telling me? Sell the marigolds? I could do that. I mean, you know, $3,000 guys, but then I won't be able to get any more money from the marigolds. I have to go to Crazy Dave's thing and and then I have to uh, buy them for 2,500. So I guess I'm supposed to cycle them, sort of. Let's let's see how this works out. Cause, Cause you do get, you get rewarded for upgrading them, right? But is it worth it? I'm, I'm gonna do it. As you can see, I'm selling them all. All the gold, I think those were all gold. This one's got gold glow too. Get out of here. Now, are you happy? I sold those plants instead. Yeah, and then I can go in and buy a bunch more. Okay, take one of those, one of those, one of those. Now he's all sold out. The heck am I gonna do now, man? Okay, so we go back and, and here are our new plants. Uh, let's get this guy up there because we, we can't even do anything with him, okay? And yeah, let's just go ahead and water some plants. I mean, so obviously we get money for that, but is it worth it? Because I'm gonna have to spend my fertilizer and my bug spray. Okay, so $750 to fertilize, boom. And I got like no money for that. That's okay. I mean, that was that was this guy, right? So 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 it's it's cool. Fertilizing him is an investment. For the marigolds, I'm not really sure. Tip: 
Puff Shrooms with a single snow peak can easily stop the Gargantua. The slowdown Gargantua hit is slower than the Puff Shrooms respawn time. Interesting. Don't know if anyone has said this, but Potato Mine is really good with Imitator and normal it can pretty much stall and save sun a lot till the first wave and you should be able to get a defense down. You're welcome if you see this. Thank you. That makes sense. I mean, I was actually using the Potato Mine today and uh, he, he is nice because he's cheaper than a squash or a, a, a pear, if you will, because that's what it's called. Fun fact, when hypnotized, Zombotany zombies will still attack towards the plants. Pea shooters and Gatlings walk right, but shoot towards the plants. Hypnotize jalapeno explosions destroy plants. You get the idea. Okay, so if you hypnotize the jalapeno, it blows up and then you still get hurt. So don't do that. I'm, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, 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 do some adventuring, I suppose. Bye. Dave has chosen pea shooter, doom shroom, magnet shroom. Magnet shroom, kind of garbo here, Dave. Not gonna lie, kind of garbo. I mean, what am, what am I gonna do with that? Tell you what, I'll get a gold magnet and a marigold and double marigold? Imitator marigold as well? For extra, uh, 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 extra uh, uh, money. Words. Oh, I get what you're saying about the puff. Oh, see, I was thinking the uh, fume shroom when you said puff shroom. Puff shroom is the, the zero sun uh, shroom. So that's kind of hilarious that you could just have one of these and the gargantua just keeps hitting it and you just keep replacing it. Not gonna come in handy yet, but uh, someday. Let's take out the imitator marigold and put in a winter melon. We don't need the money at all. I should probably take out both marigolds, but gold magnet, right? Cause what else, cause what else am I gonna do? Is it, wait, what? Oh yeah, water plants. Oh geez. Okay, you know what? Throw away the magnet shroom. We don't care about it or the marigold. Let's go ahead and get one of these. And then we'll get uh, some something for the... I'll get a potato mine. Because you guys were like, hey, potato mines are good, man. You should get a potato mine. You want some brains? Oh, hang on a second, guys. Hang on a second. There's another comment. PVZ codes that can improve your experience. Pinata, a shower of candy when a zombie dies. Tricked out. Alternate lawnmower appearance. Future gives zombies futuristic shades. Hang on a second. Lawnmower appearance? Like like these little lawnmower things? Okay, let, me, let me try that. Tri tricked out. What are those? What else we got here? Dance makes the zombies dance. You don't have a tall enough tree of wisdom for that. What? How dare you? Treating me like some kind of peasant because my tree isn't tall enough? I've never been treated so bad. The reason that I, I realized that I wanted to check this comment out, guys, is because listen to this. Uh, su 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 Suk beer toggles the zombies call for brain sound. So it won't happen if I type in su Suk beer. What the heck is Suk beer? S U K H B I R. Huh? That's weird. Cool. I like weird things. That's not good. I could doom him. Should I doom him? No, I got, I got one of these. But he's gonna eat the things now. Okay, we'll doom him. Boop. That was a little bit overkill. Not gonna lie. <laughs> so maybe another potato mine? Because, you know, they're cheap. Good way to start things off, right? So they say. And let's put a. Melon Pult here. That'll help because there's a there's a there's a strong strong boy over here, right? All right melon pults come back quick guys, but do melon a uh, winter melons come back quick? They do not They come back very slowly. I mean, it's not a big deal. We already have uh, an opportunity for another winter melon, so let's do it Um, I really I really wish I could see through this stuff, but I can't um, this is a really difficult guy to have here at the moment guys. I, I don't like this. I don't like this at all But we'll we'll be okay, right? There goes his hat. These these little puff shrooms are actually kind of strong Is that is that what I'm seeing here? I really want the pinata guys. I really I, I really want the pinata But apparently my tree of wisdom isn't good enough like how mean is that we haven't quite experienced the true power of the winter melons yet guys but we will. I really wish that you could like double up on winter melons with the imitator because you know, the bottleneck here is how slow they recharge. However, I do have four of them. It didn't really feel like it took that long. And we can always do garlic strat. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do garlic strat and we'll put lanterns behind the garlic so that we can see. Woo! And um, let's just doom. Boop. Thank you. Level four one guys, not a hard level. Not a, not a, not a long level either. Gotta go with the cob cannon here, guys, because, hey, Colonel Pultz, right? So we'll put our cob cannons behind the garlics, which we're gonna have in here. Then we'll have our uh, winter melons as well. 
We also have to have this, and we have to have sun. This is a really bad idea. Now, did I put too many of these things here? I think I might have, because there's no room for a lantern now, is there? So this guy is gonna get hit by the thing. See? Boop. My really cool lawnmower. Oh no! What are you doing over here, bro? Two of these zombies are gonna get hit by the lawnmower. And everything is gonna be just fine, right? Right? Let's get a planter in here. There we go. Awesome. This ain't the worst strategy in the world, but it is pretty terrible. Yeah, this is a little stressy, isn't it? This is a little stressy. Okay. There you go. You go over there. This is this. We had no other choice. We, 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 we had to. And we can't exactly do that twice, so bye. We can put a garlic in the pool and they will move over to the other side and that way I can uh, focus them in one lane. It's uh, it's called being economic. Okay, now look at the football boy. Not so scary anymore, is he? He's so slow. You're so slow! Now the question is, guys, is it better for me to have more winter melons or more uh, melon pulps? They, they, they shoot at the same speed, right? But these guys are firing at the exact same speed. Firing at the exact same speed. What? Am I... I feel very confused. I need to lie down. Speed's definitely the same. Damage for the winter melons is also listed as very heavy as opposed to heavy for the regular melons. Pretty sure they deal the same damage? I'm reading forum posts from 12 years ago when the game was four days old. Wow. This was like history in the making. Okay, I can't spend any more time on this, guys. It's a 12-year-old mystery. Okay, can anyone explain this to me? They are firing at the exact same speed, and some are saying that it also has the uh, the same damage, because it's not double damage, half speed, it's the same. It's the same. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that winter melons fire at the same speed and do the same amount of damage, because that's essentially what they do if they fire at half speed and do double damage. Word on the street, guys, is strategy-wise, when you're using winter melons, you should just have one column of them because they will do the same, um, they'll do the same amount of freezing, whether it's one column or several columns, because they'll just keep hitting the same area. So one column of them is the best, like, economically, and then you just support it with more melon pulls. All right. Well, this level's almost over, and it went pretty darn well, if you ask me, and you need to get the heck out of here. He slowed down because um, the, the melon pulls do splash damage. Apparently, it's 80 per hit, 30 splash damage to everything within one square in every direction. A three by three. Strategy confirmed. Works really well. No biggie. Let's just maybe keep doing it. I want to do some spike rock stuff as well, guys. Spike rocks with the winter melons would be a fun time. Um, right, okay, a, a wall of scaredy shrooms, perhaps, as our starting strat, instead of making everything hit the mower. What about, what about this? Is, is this missing anything important? Ah, the lily pads. Repick, no garlic. Lily pad goes in, we're good. Guys, they keep eating my sun shrooms. I can't have that. You can't do that. It took me so long to get started this time that I'm probably not even gonna have a chance to put anything out. That was a dumb level. Okay, let's not even talk about that level. Nothing, nothing fun happened here. What is this crazy, Dave? This is crazy. Bah! Nothing to fight off balloon zombies, really. Uh. Okay, tell you what. No emergency. We just won't have one. We just won't, we just won't. There will be no emergencies. Okay, this is kind of weird, but I can, I can stall by using uh, a combination of <laughs> sun shrooms and puff shrooms, so that's cool. I really need this guy to not be here right now because that's really gonna mess me up. Uh, Star, you can shoot that guy, right? Yeah, just keep keep doing that. I'll go ahead and pop this down. You can eat it. And I'll pop one of these down. See, because they're so cheap. And I can just keep doing that. I can just keep stalling them. Stop. Stop eating. Why are you eating so much? Can you, can you not? There we go. <laughs> oh my. Okay, hey, look, you can be a winter melon, why not? Balloony boy, you need to go! Keep eating, keep eating, don't stop eating. Don't stop eating until you're done eating. Which will be never, right? Right, cool. Dolphins, stop it! Okay, so zombies in the pool are being frozen, which is good. M most of the zombies on the uh, on the screen, actually, because these two guys right here are like perfectly set up to freeze most zombies. The balloony boys, they're balloony boys. What are we gonna do about them? Blow them away. That's it. Thank you. It's 16 grand. Taking that money. I mean, I had a bunch of money before because I sold all my, you know, all my marigolds. 
Guys, I so badly want to actually have like a decent strategy with the melon pulse, but you need to have time, right? Those are those are something that, that you use more when you have a whole bunch of money, which seems to be kind of hard to come across. Maybe we take a break. Maybe 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 we do the real good strat here, guys. The gloom shrooms with the with the pumpkins and this and then this. I need sun as well. Yeah. Uh huh. Duh. Of course. This guy's just gonna roll on through here. Ugh. Great. Great. No. Uh, uh, restart. <laughs> Instead of a magnet shroom, guys, I'm just gonna blow him up with the cherry bomb. I think. All right. This is working a lot better, guys. So, I did the bottom row first and put a garlic in front of it. Top row and a garlic. Won't uh, won't save us from the uh, from the digger, but we can we can manage him with the cherry bomb later when we're making lots of money. We can afford one now if we need to. Okay, now we have a very small problem. And that is the fact that we Well, he's just going to go the other way. I guess he's fine then, right? <laughs> like what what now we can blow him up. Do we even want to blow him up? I don't know. I think we maybe just let him walk. What's the worst that's gonna happen? So guys, I knew this was gonna be a long recording, and so far I have been recording for over an hour, an hour and 14 minutes so far. So please, if you could smash the like button, I would really appreciate it. I am uh, going on a little bit of another vacation to see my friend who's recovering from surgery in Ontario. So uh, I wanted to make sure this video was good, and I got lots done in it. So yeah, your, your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you. So you can't really see it guys, but I'm doing the uh, legendary quadruple garlic strat so this guy has to keep stopping and, and, and getting grossed out and then switching lanes which gives me more time to kill him because i don't have any protection for my uh my gloom shrooms <laughs> final wave let's do it easy easy does it guys I, i'm good and another one bites the dust guys four six complete yeah yeah crazy dave give me something good this time well tango kelp is okay we can do the slow slow spike rock strat and let's also do cattail. I feel like that'll make this a lot easier, guys. And then we'll do um, garlic to move him into the lane, and we need something like that. And that's good, right? Okay, they never ask me, are you sure you want to do this? That means that everything's fine. You know, I miss the uh, souk, souk beer, guys. S-U-K-H-B-I-R. Oh, and here comes a zombie up top. I gotta garlic him. There we go. Okay. Here's our biggest problem. This guy. I'm hoping the cats can take care of him before he actually finishes that thing off. They did it! Rest assured, although you can't see it, guys. There's a whole bunch of spike rocks in the front. And it's over. That was so easy. That was just such a such a nice, easy strat. Wow. So since Crazy Dave wants us to do this, we're gonna do it. And uh, we'll probably... Probably go Gatling. Okay? With a garlic, we also need a lily pad, and then I think if we do a plantern, we'll be okay. Will that make everything okay? Perhaps. Uh-oh. I didn't... Oh, crap. What am I gonna do now? Ah! Oh, dang it! What, a... what am I gonna do? I don't know if I can... I don't know if I can win now, guys. Yes, I can. Pumpkin, this thing. Haha! -ha. Oh, I was close. Oh, gotta collect that sun before it disappears. Ha! Okay! <laughs> Yikes, bro, here, haven't had that. So you can do extra, extra good. Alright. Um, Pogo Man, can you stop? I don't think this matters, but. Okay. I thought he would do that, but I wasn't sure, so I <laughs> wanted to make sure. Oh, I forgot that guy just going bounce around like that. Okay, one more level, guys, and then. 410! Mm. You gotta love the garlic strat, guys. It's just so good, okay? It's just so good. Gah! He never. He just ate my plant, my chomper. This is why I go for double chompers, guys. Very sad. Oh, I need to do something in the middle here. Probably a chomper for that as well. Whatever. I gotta go let my dog in the room. He's just like scratching at the door. He misses me. I know, dude, it's been almost two hours. Get in here. Come on in. Yeah, there you go, little guy. Make yourself at home. You live here. You can't really see him. That's his face. You see his face? That's his face. He's short, okay? He doesn't really show up on camera. It's okay, he's shy. Here comes Pogo Man. Now, 
Can Pogo Man get eaten by a Chomper? Because if not, I might actually lose. What? No! No! Oh, but... The mower. The mower. Oh, two Pogo guys, huh? That's say you want to be with the final wave, huh? And put a lily pad here so I can do this. Boom. Hey-oh! Now I got a letter. I hope it's from Mr. Yeti himself. It's not. It's from my mom? I love meatloaf. Okay, Why so this is... I can't even remember this. Oh, there he is! Oh my god! The Yeti! Yeti, I want you to be my best friend, bro. Can we? Can you be my best friend? Holy crap, guys. It's so exciting. I don't want to kill the Yeti. I want to... Uh, me and the Yeti, we're supposed to be best buds. Well, guys, we're, we're, we're doing it. We're doing it. It's, it's happening. Slowly, it's happening. We're about to hit the two-hour mark on this recording, guys. Everyone say thanks, Miranda, in the comments, because Miranda's got to go through this. So, thanks, Miranda. Yeti, I need your love. You're going to love me, right, Yeti? He's going to love me. Who doesn't love me? Woo, chocolate. There's a guy in the back here. I mean, it's cool. What is that? Oh, there's Yeti. The Yeti. There he is. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Let him be. He's just trying to be a Yeti. Come on, man. Not many people try and do that. Most people aren't really Yeti people. Oh, Yeti, thank you. His head popped off. So sad. Wait, Glover, do not. Do not kill me. I wish he was here for longer, guys. I wish he didn't die so fast, but you know how it is. Okay, let me say one thing, guys. The Yeti thing was cool, but aside from that, this is the worst level in the entire game. The worst level. Like, I really hate not being able to see what's going on. It's just, it's just, ugh. It's the worst. And we did it. Cool. Cool, man. I'm a cryptozoologist now, man. And it's got nothing to do with Bitcoin. Okay? We're gonna leave. Back to the main menu. We have to go to the almanac now. We have to take a look at the wrong place. We gotta take a look at this guy. Look at him. Wow. A rare and curious creature. High toughness, special, runs away after a short while. He did not run, he died. He might have been the only one in the world, and I killed him. Little is known about the zombie Yeti other than his name, birth date, social security number, educational history, past work experience, and sandwich preference. Roast beef and Swiss. I don't care about his sandwich preference. Great sandwich, by the way. But where did he go to school? Told you he went to school. Crazy, right? Only one more thing I gotta do, guys. I just got, I got, I got to find out what plants I got. Okay, I got new plants. I need to know what they are. All right, plant number one is a blover. Adorable. Plant number two, a little, uh, what, what is it called? Little sea shroom. Little sea shroom. Great. All right, guys, I'm going to end this video here. I, uh, I have quite a bit of money now. Let me know what to do with it in the next episode down below in the comments. I'll read some comments, as I always do in the next episode, so maybe I'll read yours. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.